Hi, and welcome to uh, another episode of Vintage Toy Freedom. You might notice I'm in a different location. You're actually seeing my face, probably for the first time, maybe the second or third time if you watch uh, the video where I chew gum and spit it out and some other crazy things. But I'm trying something new here. I have the, uh, this is the Vintage Toy Freedom kind of storage uh, workbench area, if you will, and I kind of just cram some things like boxes for Transformers and Dungeons and Dragons, G.I. Joe, uh, you, we got all kinds of stuff. So. Um, this here is an Ultra Force Ghoul figure. This is by Galoob 1995. So you hopefully have seen me open Prime, and hopefully you've seen me open the Nightman. Uh, those are two Ultra Force figures that I've opened previously for Vintage Toy Freedom. Um, but this guy is cool for many reasons. Number one, he blows apart. And number two, he has glow-in-the-dark bones. So, you know I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Blowing apart's really cool. So, um, you know, the Ultra Force line is kind of like... But this guy is actually a really cool figure. Uh, a cool sculpt. I don't know anything about his backstory. Um, I've not really read Ultra Force. I mean, I'm sure I, I came across them in the 90s because I was a kid. And those kind of comic books were everywhere. I think they were Malibu. Let's see. Yeah, Malibu. Um, you know, now that's like not even dollar bin stuff. People just... I pay you to take it from them. So, uh, oh, there's my tape in here. First thing to notice is the bubble. It's like a double bubble. So the the front of the coffin is actually sort of sealed in there itself. And then we got this fella. Well, that's actually the coffin. So they're like. So there's the bubble. And then the tray, which is normal. But the coffin was behind the tray, and then the lid of the coffin was behind that. So a lot of, a lot of packaging here, a lot of wasteful plastic, but that's okay. And, hmm. They really have this guy in here. It's all kind of glued together, taped together. Okay. So here he is, Mr. Ghoul. There's a little bit of a backstory. Uh, death is no stranger or threat to Ghoul, who mastered the netherworld and came back from the dead. So uh, you can take these things apart. He doesn't explode, so it's not like some of those other figures where you push a button and they blow apart. This just kind of pulls apart. Let me make sure his head comes off. Head, arms, and torso snap apart and snap back together. Okay, so not his legs. So don't want to break them, but so head comes off, arms come off. You can see that you know, pretty cool. I think, and that's a cool head sculpt. I mean, I think Galoob did a pretty good job on these. I'll put him back together here. All right. You know, I think that's a, that's a good figure. That'll look good on a shelf. So, then the other thing we have here, we have his coffin. We'll put his feet here in these pegs if they'll, if they'll sit still. They kind of like to move. Seal the coffin, RIP. So that doesn't really sit, it just kind of sits on there, which I guess kind of makes sense because the idea is that then you do this. No, his feet came off the pegs. Hold on. A little bit of technical difficulties. There we go. Okay. Pretend you didn't see that. So now we have the lid on the coffin. You squeeze the trigger and he pops up, presumably popping the lid off. We'll try that again. You really got to give it some, some thumb muscle in order to get them to go up.
that is definitely tricky to do with the lid on there. There we go. So it takes a few times. This thing's been uh, sealed, like triple sealed in a plastic prison. What did I say? Since 1995. So it's 2019 now. So that's a, that is a long time. Um, so he's cool in and of itself. It's a really cool sculpt. Great figure. You should get one. But what we're going to do next, I'm going to... I'll let you look at some of that that artwork there. Um, I'm gonna, while I hold them up to this light bulb. So this line's kind of weird. Uh, the enemy figure is pretty cool, but you know the rest of them are kind of like. Eh. There's a a sort of a jeep vehicle and a motorcycle vehicle, which I've never seen in my entire life. But okay, so here we go. Here's Mr. Ghoul. And I'm about to hit the lights. So you can see, it's strange how glow in the dark does not show up great on camera. So what I'm seeing, you saw it kind of flicker there. So what I'm seeing are his hands, uh, the bones where his rib cage would be, his face, and then that little part of his knee that's sticking out. Are glowing so I don't know I really wish I could there you go you can kind of yeah I guess the camera just has trouble focusing on that but um, glow's pretty cool cool figure I think it's a great looking sculpt and I uh, so you know heads off to you for joining me here vintage toy freedom and checking out a um, a really well-made figure from a kind of a weird forgettable line so thanks for watching and and don't lose your heads